Excellent. So I'm just going to recall this book today for, again, those that are missing, those that are away, which it doesn't look like oh, maybe a couple of you. Um, cool. So we're back onto our Antarctica now. Okay, so I've got your exams down there. Like I said, um, it's pretty impressive. Actually, it was really impressive uh, going through all of those. Um, if we have time, if you guys... If you guys can get through all this today, um, remember I want you to do your second entry today. Uh, I'll I'll give you your results because I know you you you're dying for them. Uh, bear in mind that obviously that I have to I have to do moderation, which means I, I look at the other classes as well and we have a quick chat about them um, just to see if there's anything that we need to change. So they're a let's say a 99% accurate mark. Something may change, some they may go up, they may go down, but essentially I'm pretty happy with these results and I think they'll probably stay. Um, so I'll, I'll run you through those if we have time individually. All right, so send you this book. Now again, another one where um, I've got all the details in here. I'm not going to spend too much of your time because you are going to go through all of this in your second entry, okay? And for those that maybe did... I don't know, maybe not enough info on their first entry. Um, now's your, your time to redeem yourself. And you can, you can play with the scarf later. Let's just, let's just leave the scarf. Excellent. Sorry, Ronan? How much is too brief? Too brief is nothing like the example that I sent out. If it's anything like the example I sent out... Is there a maximum word? There's never a maximum word. So I can do like an entire novel on like penguins... <laughs> If it's, I mean, I'm probably guessing you're not going to do more words than I've done in here originally. Um, but you saw that example, okay? So really all you're doing is you're, you're continuing your little journey on, okay? Remember, it's, it's, got a, it's got a link, it's a story going on here. So you're going to continue it on from where you left off, but you're going to try and incorporate some of the stuff we're going to talk about really quickly today. So I'm not going to take up too much of your time. So again, what I have in here is kind of like, it's like the foundations, all right? I don't expect you to get everything from this book. I really want you to go out... Have a look, look at other resources, look at other information out there, Aaron, look at other information out there um, and help you build your, your second entry that way, okay? So this is just a quick little summary, essentially, that I'm going to be going through with you now. So, Antarctica. So what do we say about Antarctica? What were the couple oh, of things? I know, it's very cold and it's, uh, got, it's like an ice sheet, so it's got like 50,000 more. It's got more, more yeah. Of ice that's been there for a long time. Cool. Uh, I'm working over my iPad too because this is recording the audio as well. It's really cool. Um, yes, cool. What else, Bo? You can get out to 320 kilometer winds. Yes. Awesome. So you remember, even though it was only like oh, a couple of weeks ago. Nucky. Yep. Um, uh, Nucky. The, lo- the highest recorded temperature, because I was watching Nucky's video the other night. It was pretty cool with his I've, American accent. Because yeah. I've watched it like five times. Yeah. And it's, um, a lot of people have watched it. It's getting uh, some hits there. And um, is a YouTube sensation. It's a new site. Sensation. Um, so, um, um, the highest record temperature I think was fourteen point. Yes, it was. It wasn't very high. Uh, anything else we remember from last time we were talking about Antarctica? Come with a few things we talked about. I think we used words like uh, yeah, Bruce. Mawson, yeah, we talked about him. We'll talk about him a bit more probably in our next lesson. Yep. No polar bears in Antarctica. No polar bears in Antarctica. But I wanted words like largest desert, okay? Mainly empty of life, all right? They are emperor penguins. They are emperor penguins, yep. Um, mainly empty of life. Really? We're, oh, it's just written right in front of us. Excellent, good catch. All right, so... Um, the waters that surround it support one of the biggest communities of life on the planet. So even though Antarctica itself doesn't have much, no. <laughs> doesn't have much life, um, what? the waters surrounding it, okay, like it says here, have some of the biggest communities of life on the planet. So surrounding Antarctica, there's a lot going on, okay, in Antarctica, not so much. Um, this is because the very cold waters hold gases, okay, such as oxygen, um, much better than warmer waters. So there's more, there's more oxygen in the waters around Antarctica. What likes oxygen? Fish. Fishies, okay? Yeah. Stuff that breathes uh, in the water, they like that, they like nice oxygen in the water, so they, they surround Antarctica, okay? There's a lot of life going on in there. Lads? Okay, more life that we take, more time we take up here, less time to do entry. Okay, so... 
Also, the windy conditions keep minerals suspended in the water where the tiny plants uh, can use them. These plants are eaten by tiny animals. These tiny animals are then eaten by bigger animals. And then they're eaten by bigger animals. And then they're eaten by bigger animals. Hakuna Matata and all that. And, and what's that called, Nucky? That's the food chain. Yes! It's the food chain. Or I would have also taken Circle of Life with a song by a pig and a... What's the other thing? Uh, a meerkat. All right, so... <laughs> Oh. The world's biggest animals! Any guess the world's biggest animals? Blue whales. Whales. Blue whales. Blue uh, whales. To be free. Thank you, we'll, we'll see you later. Um, feed and flourish in those waters. Okay, also the large animals in Antarctica depend on the sea for their food. Okay, so the penguins and those chaps as well need the sea. Okay, they need the animals that are in the sea for their food. So, let's have a look. Oh, cute! Alright, um, I won't go through all of these straight away, <clears throat> but you can obviously see we've got quite a lot of animal life. We've got our seals, we've got our elephants. That's a good looking, that's a good looking guy. Hey, don't judge a seal by its foot face. Um, cute. Yeah, so fur seals, guys, we'll talk about them later. They are very cute. They're also very warm. So what, what, what do we think would happen to this cute little guy? Not now, but maybe a while ago. Yeah, bang on their head. Gone. Nice gloves. Yeah. Killer whales. Um, all right, so I'm only going to read a little bit of this, and then I'm going to let you go and research it yourself and start on your second entry because I want to spend most of this, this session doing your second entry so you can make it as detailed as possible because this will be probably the last one that I look at for your reports. We'll do, we'll do the, re the rest next week, but this will probably be the last one I look at for your reports, okay? I can go back and change them if you happen to do something amazing next week, but I want to focus on these. All right, so to survive in Antarctic waters, animals and birds must be fully protected against the, th the freezing conditions, okay? So a human falling into these waters would be dead in minutes. Bad luck. Uh, yet other mammals survive their entire lives here, okay? A Antarctic animals survive by, so these are the main things. They have a special layer of fur or feathers to keep them dry. So they've got a, they've got a pretty good coat on there. Um, they've got a, a thick layer of fat, all right, or blubber to keep them warm. Um, and they have special chemicals in their blood to stop their blood from freezing. So these are three things which, you know, I don't really have. Um, and the, yeah, they are interesting. Um, but I don't have these things and neither do you. So that's why I'm not living in Antarctica anytime soon. So what you've got... Oh, sorry. And um, we're leaving Antarctica, migrating when it becomes too cold. In fact, only one creature stays a real winter, which is... Emperor Penguin, we know that. How disappointing that didn't come up on the um, exam. There's only two questions on Antarctica. There was, were there any questions on Antarctica? Yeah. There were none. The ice sheet one and... No, the Emperor Penguin. Was it on there? Which one lives in Antarctica? And it said crab eating seals. Or something. Yeah, that's what it said. What? Where was that? Yeah, and oh, multiple choice. Oh, multiple choice. Lucky, sit down. Multiple choice. And killed her because it's a killer whale. Why? It's it's not called a friendly whale. Like guys, quiet. Sorry, Jordan. Well, again, killer whale. Yeah, again. No, I'm pretty sure it's because it was a killer whale. All right, you can't. No, I know what you're talking about, and there's a whole there's a whole bigger discussion on there about captivity and keeping animals in captivity when clearly they shouldn't be. It's a killer whale. Like, it's not meant to be swimming around in a pool doing tricks, throwing a ball in the air. It doesn't matter. It's still a killer whale. Has anyone heard of Shamui? Yes, I've seen it. All right, Nucky. It's in. No, seriously, this is, a good, this is a good kind of segue we can have. Um, yeah, look, it's, I said what? It's a killer whale. It doesn't matter if it's lived in captivity its whole life, it likes, you know, TV and bouncing those balls. It's, in its, it's genetically, it's, it's in its genetics that it's a killer whale. It wants to eat stuff. 
All right. There's a reason why we don't have lions as pets. Okay. Yeah. Not for long. Yeah. The tiger attacked them as well. Are you thinking of those two magicians that have the tiger? Oh, okay. Yes. Which then in turn attack them. Anyway, let's get back. It's a good discussion. Maybe we'll we'll expand upon it on the blog. Nucky, enough. All right. Guys, you need to stop talking now. Excellent. So, we know about the Emperor Penguin. Okay, so what I've got here, guys, is this is kind of like a list of all the animals that you're going to find in Antarctica. Again, only one of them are living there full time. Um, one of them is probably a guest. Uh, but the rest... Um, or what you'll find around Antarctica. And again, it's not to scale. That bird is not half the size of a whale, because um, that would be weird. Um, and that owl is bigger than Jay. Excellent. All right, guys, we're going to stop the whole calling out now, okay, because I really need to get through this. Awesome. So the list down the side here, okay, they're a list of animals that you'll find around Antarctica. Again, I'm not going to go through these now. You can go through them later when you start working on your journal entry. Okay, so this is the one thing I want to talk about. So Luke called it... Uh, what did you call it? Food chain. Food chain, okay. Food web. What's the difference between a chain and a web? I know. A web is a That's a web and a chain. So the way a fish gets eaten by a big plastic. A web is like massive and a chain is like one Yeah, okay. yeah, essentially, yeah. So a chain is pretty much going, when you think of a chain, you're going one way. You're going left to right, you know. Little fish eats bigger fish. Bigger fish gets eaten by a bigger fish. Bigger fish gets eaten by a bigger fish. Blah, blah, blah. It goes one way. Okay? But this is the food web. Jordan? If big fish get eaten by big fish, does that mean they can't If a fish eats a fish? Yeah. Not really. <laughs> it's just like us eating cat. Ah, I... Us eating cat Well, no, it's not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> that's probably a good question. It's like dogs eating dogs. Well, yeah, that's... <laughs> That's, well, yeah. But, guys, everyone's talking again. Guys, but there's nothing wrong with a fish eating a fish. No, no, but guys, guys, stop talking, please. Guys, Steph, um, the only people that say cannibalism wrong though, is wrong are humans. A fish isn't going, you know what, I'm really hungry, but I'm really against eating other fish, you know? Um, humans are the only people that say cannibalism is, is wrong. So, it's not illegal for a fish to eat a fish. But yet, it's illegal for me to force a chicken to eat a chicken. Yes. Have you heard it? Did you hear about that? Weird. You, can, you can't force can. Oh, a, a guy. It's a long story. We're segueing again. Um, well, someone, uh, quite a famous guy. Um, the guy who co-founded Facebook, actually. Yeah, so... What happened was um, he had a chicken and, he fed, it chicken and he fed it chicken nuggets and then the RSPCA were all on him because that's forced cannibalism. And anyway, long segue. But no, yes, fish eat fish. Um, but let's, let's, let's not eat other people, okay? Um, like I said, cannibalism is a, is a, a human... We're not fans of it. Um, for, for obvious reasons, humans don't, don't taste very nice. Yes? What are we looking at? The bird. The bird? The, the flying bird? Yes. How big is it? Yes. Probably... It's, it's an emperor penguin. It would eat the emperor penguin babies. No, it, it, it wouldn't be eating it whole. And it would probably yeah. eat the babies. It would eat off it. They'd be scavenging. Like a vulture. Yeah. A, a vulture can't eat a whole person, but it'll eat parts of a person. Sam. All right, sorry, Sam. All right, again, this is the last time I'm going to say it right now. Only one person talks. If you want to stay back in at lunchtime so we can do this entry, I'm cool with that. But <laughs> I like lunchtime. So, Nucky, stop talking. Seth? Um, on the cannibalism, there actually is no scientific definition of a fish. It's just something that's in water. So, really, we eat, like, lions and that. Do we? When's the last time you ordered a lion? I don't know. I sometimes have a kangaroo. I, I can't remember. I want lion. Yep. So, we eat beef. But technically, if fish were in the same family, then cows and humans would be in the same family. Are you saying, you're saying that red meat, white meat falls in the 
That's there's the actually like no definition of a fish, so you can't actually cannibalize. Okay, we're going off topic. Let's. Unless it's our own breed. Excellent. All right, thank you for that. But we'll get back. One question for Jordan. Then we're getting back on topic. We've gone way out. It's all good? Alright, so let's have a look at this food web, okay? Obviously we've got, um, at the very, very bottom there, word of the day, Ash. Yeah. Sounds good. Essentially you're looking at really small like algae and stuff like that. Then you've got your krill. Um, blue whales love them some krill, alright? And we're talking about, and you've seen Finding Nemo, alright? Finding Nemo. Stop talking now. So we're... We're talking about like they're eating buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets and buckets of, of krill. They're eating a lot of krill. They love their krill. Okay, because um, you can see that you know they generally um, they don't they don't eat much else but the good old krill. Um, then we've got our seals and our birds and our and our penguins. Okay, all going off the krill and our fish as well. So krill is is the is the big guy on campus here. All right. We take krill away, we're in trouble. Um, emperor penguins, obviously. Then we've got larger fish. We've got our bigger seals at the top there, our leopard seal and killer whale. No one's, no one's eating the killer whale. No one's touching it. Except the girl with the ponytail and we know how that ended, all right? So no one's, no one's touching the killer whale. So he's the top of the food web. So the main thing, guys, is, like we said, it's a web. It's not a chain. It's a web because it goes kind of all over the shop, okay? And you can visually see that, all right? Uh, Ash? Oh, why wouldn't the arrows go the other way? Uh, what do you mean is exactly? Eating energy As in what, the, the krill is eating the blue whale? Yes. No, that's what it looks like. Because if the other arrows go the like No, it's saying it goes into the krill goes to the blue whale. Like it goes into them. Yeah. Well, if you say like the blue whale, Yeah, we can say it like that. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright guys, last question, and then we're moving on. Uh, Sam, uh, Elizabeth, sorry. Uh, well, in this really, really sad movie, Axel. Oh, don't talk about it. There was, um, about the killer whale, there was a leopard seal that, like, one had died, so it started eating it, and then some dogs came and started eating the whale as well. I don't like this story. Alright, we're moving on. This is a sad story. I don't like it. Okay. So, guys, here's my question for you. Alright. Um, you're going to answer this in your second entry, but we'll just discuss it really quickly, one person at a time. Um, pretty easy one. What would happen if one of these were gone? Just, there was an issue where all the krill in the world got a disease, bye bye krill. What happens to basically everything in Antarctica? Dead. Uh, Lucky. Uh, well, the balance of everything dies. Yes, so the balance will change. We're not just saying everything will be wiped out tomorrow. Things will start to change. And we see this a lot. Okay, we see this when, you know, you've got people that set up houses next to bears, you know, um, and they start hunting all the food that the bears eat, and then what does a bear do? It starts going into the city, well, not to the city, it starts going into where people habitate, and then it starts eating people, all right? This is the problem, and this is what we do. This is what humans do, okay? We overfish, we overkill, we overhunt, and then these animals have no food, they have nowhere to go, so they start branching out. They start going into areas they're not meant to be in terms of their natural habitat to try and find this food, okay? Whales do it all the time. Um, uh, whales, and I think that's a reason, again, they don't know for sure, but when you see whales, when, they, when they're there beaching themselves and all this kind of stuff, they're saying it can come down to the fact that the whales aren't finding food, so they're getting further and further away from where they're used to being, and it gets them off course. So all these issues can start to happen. Samo. Oh, well... Start eating all the diatoms, and so then all the crabata seal, fine birds, del penguin, and small fish and squid would have to like die because all the whales. Eat yeah, it'll it'll start throwing. It'll so then all the stuff they're eating, those things. Will yeah. Die. And so that's the only thing that's a bit like the killer whale. But that penguin yep. has other. Or oh, look, think of it another way. Because let's say the blue whale is probably the one on this list that we're going to start losing pretty soon. All right. Again, a hypothetical. Let's say we we lose the blue whale. We decide that we yeah we no more blue whales left. Okay. Then the population of krill could explode. 
all right, because they eat so much krill. So we now have stacks and stacks and stacks and stacks of krill. Lots of krill around there. What likes eating? What likes eating krill? These penguins, all right. So now plenty of food for the penguins. They start breeding. We have millions of these penguins, all right. And then they start taking over the world, just like in Batman Two. Have you not seen Batman Two? Batman Returns, killer penguins. All right. So that could happen. All right, maybe look. It probably won't happen because they wore little suits and had rockets, and that was weird. But so it's not just taking one animal away, ladies. It's not just taking one animal away, but again, with that blue whale gone, another species can start to explode in population when it shouldn't. You know, there's a reason why we have the amount of krill that we have, because we've got enough for the blue whale, all right? We get rid of the blue whale, that population starts to change. This happens all the time. We do it. Humans do it all the time as well. There's probably way too many humans for this planet, okay? We've talked about this. We talked about this when we talked about... um, do you guys remember when we started doing greenhouse gases and we started talking about the ozone layer? We've got too many people on the world. Too many. It should be two people. Too many people. people. All right. Let's, let's not. Um, so we've got, we've got a world that supports a certain amount of people. Okay, we've got a certain amount of animals on there. You know, now life's pretty easy. You know, I can, I can go down to Coles and get me a steak. I don't have to go and hunt it, you know. So there's not a possibility of me dying in Coles. Maybe, uh, maybe in Coles Wood End because there was like a puddle there the other day and it slipped on. Puddle. It was terrible. <laughs> I could have died. But, but you get my point, all right? Life is a lot easier. Life is a lot easier for people. Life is a lot easier for people, okay? So there's a lot of people. We're, we're, you know, we're not dying as easy. So the world is starting to suffer, okay? With pollution, Aaron, stop talking now. With pollution, okay, with, again, we have more people, Jordan, so we need more food, which means we start farming our cows, we have too many cows, we have our methane gas problem, so it's all sad. All right, anyway, we went way off topic there. So, that's it. So, oh, I've got some videos of March the Penguins, because um, penguins are cute, and Morgan Freeman has a cool voice. So, this is what you guys are doing for the rest of this session, all right? I want you to continue on in your second Entry, okay? Again, those that may have been slightly too brief first time round, here's your chance to redeem yourselves. So the topics you'll be looking at in your second entry, okay? Remember, it links to your first, so you've got to get that story going along. You can't just, you know, jump straight into this. How are you going to go from what you were talking about with Antarctica now into stuff like habitat, animals, the food web, krill, whales, killer whales, all that kind of stuff that we talked about, all right? So the main thing we're talking about here is probably the food web, the way everything's interconnected, okay? And how Antarctica has such a rich um, wildlife surrounding its waters, essentially, not, not in it. Bo's been dying for a question. Well, if the krill got, um, if the, I mean, if the blue whale got wiped out, doesn't that mean the krill expanded and then they'll eat all the diatoms and then they'll eventually die off before... Yeah, could happen. And then, then, then there'll be plenty of krill, but they'll have nothing to eat, so they'll die out. No more anything. Cool. Could happen. So that's, that's how you need to be thinking, okay? That's how you need to be thinking. And not, again, not just with Antarctica, but with yourselves, with the world, okay? You know, are we, are we overfeeding? Are we over farming? Yeah, we kind of, we kind of are. All right, so... So... Head, have a look through this. Okay, here are some basic resources in this book, but I really want you to search elsewhere, do some other research, find some other information, and I want you to do your second post. Now, this second post, second entry, okay, I will need that. You've got all of the rest of today, which is a, a first one of time, um, and you will also have tomorrow, I know you're allowed on sport, but you'll have tonight, you'll have tomorrow evening, and I will need it Thursday morning at the very latest, okay? If I don't have it by Thursday morning, yeah. it will not get into the report stuff, okay? So, really, really important to have it by Thursday morning. All right, cool, let's go. Sweet. Yeah.